you if gonna, gonna, have, if gonna have a nod or something like that, you gotta go in that order, man. They just breathe their order, yeah. They just breathe their order. The police on our ass. The police will roll up when they see this shit. They don't come around here. When you turn 25, what do you want to be happening in your life? I want to be rich, bro. This year or the end of this year. I'm hitting the heights, real heights. Big heights. We ain't rich, we ain't rich off this music shit, then. We don't hit a whole lot of heights. I've mean, never witnessed That's true. a violent encounter, like anything crazy. I straight seen somebody get shot in their fucking face, like head. How, how, and how did that affect I seen a bitch get stabbed, hella close, like, and I'm a fool, like. Konnichiwa, minasan. Kill that. So, we are visiting the USA's most dangerous city. Excited to watch this video, but before that, guys, we are close to 200,000 subscribers. So, if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Tommy G, and you might be wondering how I got here. I have a reputation for getting crazy things on camera. These fellas heard I was coming to their city, and they told me to link up. So, I did. This is a story of St. Louis. Homicide in East St. Louis. Outside of a gas station, more than loved ones killed in the last week as police in East St. Louis investigate. The mother of one of the victims has had it. We're about 20 minutes outside of St. Louis. Let's talk to the locals and see if they think this is a good idea and what advice they have for us. We're going to St. Louis. It's apparently the number one murder capital in this country. Is that something you're familiar with or you've heard anything about? Absolutely. Is that a place you ever go to? No, it's a place I avoid. Too scary? Oh, most definitely. I went there for last year's 4th of July. I swear, I heard gunshots everywhere more than I hate fireworks. Really? Yeah. So if we're going to meet a game trapper, do you think it's a good idea? I don't. For your safety and as a mom, stay away. We're doing a documentary on St. Louis. Is it crazy as people say it is? I will say that there's a lot of murders up there. Probably at least once a day, bare minimum. Do you guys go in there strapped? Or do you just stay, stay out of certain neighborhoods or what? Feel the run quick. I keep to myself. I don't look nowhere. I should be looking. Okay, we're going to meet some gangster rappers. I would be careful who you interview. And don't offend her. Solid advice. Solid advice, man. Out of our heads are dangerous. Most dangerous city in America. Highest murder rate. Oh, my gosh. What's up, fellas? How's it going, boss? Hey, I'm going uh, all right, all right. All right. Fellas, where are we at right now? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? Hey. If anything you don't want in camera, just just hide it. Just cause you never know who'll be watching this. Yeah. Oh shit, you guys fucking got your after school projects here, huh? Yeah, after school projects right here. Big toys. So tell us about right this. Right. Tell us about this area. I'm a Milwaukee boy. I don't really know. Yeah, but look. Who is this? You guys got the whole crew rolling in, huh? Yeah, How would you describe this city? Man, this motherfucker gruesome, goddamn me. This motherfucker real deal, goddamn me. You gotta get can't play no games with these niggas. Goddamn me, look. Check this out. Yo, old cousin is starting to go out. Never point guns at people. No, don't point anything at him. Don't, okay? man. Don't come on, man. Practice good gun safety, bro. Hey, what's the St. Louis story? Never point a gun at somebody. Louis, Never do that. Unless you're willing to shoot. Anything. Is this the most crazy area in St. Louis? Nah, this ain't the most crazy. This ain't the most crazy. It ain't nowhere particular that's crazy. Everywhere in St. Louis, you got to have a nod or something like that, you got to at least have two of them. What do you think the neighbors feel about this? Are neighbors scared to go outside? They 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 think it's cool because they like they they feel like they well protected type shit. They rather have some guns over here than not have no guns over here. So I guess what's a day to day in your life, guys? What does it look like? Just living. We just living. Every day another dollar. Young, young. Lost brothers, man. Like, Lost kids, man. Of crips, but like in Milwaukee, there's a lot of different groups. What's it like in St. Louis? Like, like, yeah. We got our own yeah. shit. Motherfuckers yeah. make their own yeah. shit. So what do you guys spend your time doing in the summer? Yeah, we out here getting money, shooting videos, fucking hoes. I just got off somebody's ass last night. If you want to be honest, <laughs> no. Hey, so what's the vision? What do you, what do you see the future looking like? Lost young boys, man. Lost, I'm man. I'm going to be the king of these bitches, man. I'm going to be... So you guys can just chill outside like this and not worry about it. Don't point guns at people, yo. Don't do that, man. These dudes don't even know how to handle guns, man. How much 
<laughs> How much does a two bedroom apartment go for here? What can, Man, where's rent going for? Eight deep in a one bedroom apartment. Six niggas sharing the living room, rent for 700 days. We ain't had a kitchen in my last house, they like this. The landlord didn't make a kitchen? We have a bedroom for the kitchen. You know those guys? This is part of the crew too? Nah. So literally every car that was coming down the street, I was keeping an eye on, and I was like hiding behind the car. I was up when I would see it coming, I would hide behind the curb just to make sure, because I didn't want to take a chance if it was a rival. And I, I don't know if they're friend or foe. I wasn't about to die. This was too hot. Anyways, back to the video. I'm getting married in October. I got a sweet cheeks to go home to. You know what I mean? How many kids? I'm gonna make kids pretty soon. Probably two or three. Let me just read that order. Let just read that order. The police on our ass. The police will roll up when they see this shit. They don't come around here. How old are you guys? Okay, so when you turn 25, what do you want to be happening in your life? I want to be rich by this year. I want to end of this year. I'm hitting the heights, real heights. We ain't rich off this music shit, Dad. We don't hit a whole lot of heights. I mean, we ain't broke out there. Heights is like robberies. I take like two puffs, I'm done. I go for a jog, I read a book, I'm out. Damn. I smoke 13 woods a day. What? If you guys were mayor of St. Louis, what would you do? I'll put more jobs in the VR. I got damn it. Think like he can't just walk in there and get no motherfucking child, goddamn. Why not? Look at me, be like. Sad to see young boys like this, man. Yeah, so, so no neighbor gets worried about this and they're like, hey, this looks a little sketchy. Yeah. Wow. The guy smell it? Good stuff. You guys have good stuff. What do you guys? What do you? What is your message to America? Like, if, if, if all of America playing this in their TV. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Be yourself. Be some real niggas. Don't never be lazy. Get off y'all ass and go get to that bag daily. So do you guys feel like this country's going in a good direction? Do you guys feel proud to be Americans? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm proud to be American, goddamn. I don't even know about politics. Personally, I'm proud to be American, goddamn. Me, I'm proud to be in my country and shit. I know if I was the president, should be a whole lot different on my mama. Like, do you guys fuck with Trump or Biden or none of them? I, I, I fuck with Trump. I fuck with Trump. 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 You guys like Trump? Even though, even though, Trump. even though the media was trying to, even though the media was trying to. Have you guys ever witnessed a violent encounter, like anything crazy? Oh, I straight seen somebody get shot in their fucking face, like head. How, how young head were you when down. you first saw something violent? First time I seen something violent, I seen a nigga get shot when I was 11. I always seen a nigga get shot. And how did that affect I you? I seen a bitch get stabbed, hella close, like, and my foot, like... How did that affect you? I don't know. It just made me like, I don't know. Used, used to it. I can say that. You know, kind of harden your heart a little bit. No, no. All against the horse shit to the side. It just make you used to it. Girl. I don't know. You got elected president tomorrow. What was the first thing you would do? Free gang. Free, free all my men. I'll kill all the I ain't gonna lie. Free all the men. I'll lock all the men. What would you do for the country? I'll lock like all them all, all them niggas up. The white boy that be shooting them schools up and shit. They be letting go and all that. They gotta go. They under the ball. Under the ball. So school shooters lock them up. I wish you guys the best, okay? I wish you guys the best, okay? I wish you guys the best, okay? I wish you I wish you guys the best, okay? Is this a St. Louis thing or your guys' crew thing? I don't know how much, how many of these videos I can continue to do because oh, yeah. I don't want to show the worst of society. I also want to show positive shit. My intention is to try and come and get positivity out of things, but also guess because it makes like I, I part of me gets what these young guys are doing, but it also makes me a little bit sad. It actually makes me really sad yeah. because if my little brother was doing that or my son was doing that, I would be I'd be really scared for them. I know that if I grew up here, like what are the odds I would be in that crew? I don't know, probably pretty high. Yeah, man, stuff is sad, man. A lot of these young dudes, man, their minds in the gutter, man. But, man, it's, it's tragic. To me, this is a product of an environment where, you know, there's no marriages. A lot of babies out of wedlock. A lot of these young dudes don't have no fathers in their life. And historically, even psychologically, we know when men don't have fathers, they usually try to group with other men to feel more masculine uh, about themselves and feel... um approved as a man but when you come from these environments man it's like your mind's in the gutter like you 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 don't see anything positive you've seen people get killed people selling drugs prostitution 
robberies, gang violence, all kinds of, you know, nonsense. So I feel for these boys, man. Like I wish that, you know, kids didn't have to grow up in these environments because what's the chances that these guys are going to end up in jail, end up getting killed or, you know, some tragic event is going to happen to them. It's sad. It's sad. A lot of people come from these impoverished areas end up in these kind of things, especially black men. It's tragic, man. Like for them, the only way out of this is doing illegal activities or making music. It's like literally there's like no hope. But either way, man, I just think that something needs to be done. I think that people in, in these areas need help to get their minds out the gutter because you only act what you believe. And if you believe this is all there is to life, you're gonna live that, you're gonna live your life that way. But um, either way, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you guys found this video interesting, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Hanto, arigatou gozaimasu. Minna, kiyotsukete. Jane.